Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Tanner's Favorite Things. I'm Tanner Knight and today we have a pair of Celestian speakers that are branded Marshall. And if we take a look, uh, these are two identical speakers. They are the Marshall by Celestian 8 ohm 65 watt speaker. So the sticker on the side says Celestian G12N65. So this speaker is made by Celestian China. And you can see that it's it's not the highest level of materials and workmanship that Celestian's Chinese factory will produce. But this is a very good speaker and one that you'll find in a really high amount of cabs out there. That doesn't necessarily make it the best speaker, but let's go ahead and put these into a 2x12 cab and see what kind of sounds we can get out of them. All right, everybody, we are going to install these two speakers into this cabinet that I built with my own two hands. You may be asking, why do I use this particular cabinet to demo speakers frequently? And I think it just comes down to the fact that this is kind of the common denominator. This is based off of this Mesa Boogie cabinet that I have. I just got the dimensions from that and copied them over to here. So very, very similar there. And I think that this is just a really evenly voiced cabinet that I like to swap speakers in and out of. Uh, also, since it's really ugly up front, you can tell that it's really easy to swap speakers out. So that's also another benefit from this cab. So let's go ahead and install these speakers and see what they sound like. All right, before I get this last G12 T75 installed, I just wanted to make one final comparison against the magnets. You can really see the difference here between a magnet on a full-size Celestian heavy speaker magnet versus this Marshall. And oh, what do we have over here? Just thought that this needed to make another appearance. You can even see that the speaker magnet on the Twin 60s vibration technology speaker, which is that vintage speaker we opened last week, is much larger than this Marshall smaller speaker. So just wanted to make that point. Otherwise, the, the speaker cage looks pretty much identical. They have the two holes there and the Celestian imprint on the rim. So I think that these speaker baskets are pretty interchangeable and it comes down to the magnet, the driver, and the cone, and maybe even the cone materials interchangeable. These two look very, very similar. Okay, let's go ahead and get this second speaker installed and do a comparison against the G12 T75. All right, speakers are installed, and the first thing that you'll note is that we don't have very much light down here, but these cones look very robust. They have the same style of build quality as the larger magnet speakers. Just for instance, if you look at the cone of this speaker, which is a G12T75, a much heavy duty speaker, the cone actually looks fairly similar between these two. It has the same style and type of edging. Looks like it's the same amount of edging. The dust cap looks to be about the same size. So from the cone perspective, I wouldn't be surprised if these two are identical. They're both made in China speakers. All right, let's go ahead and plug this in and see how she sounds. Okay, so I've got these two Marshall by Celestian G12N65 speakers hooked up in my cab. I've got my Orange Rocker 30 as the amplifier. Today I will be using the natural colored Strat that I picked up a couple weeks ago. So pretty standard Stratocaster tones. And for the most part, this is a sound that I'm pretty familiar with. Celestian speakers with an orange amp and a Stratocaster. But this is an interesting class of speaker. This is a speaker with a much smaller magnet than the speaker that I'm used to, the Creambacks, the Greenbacks, all of the other larger Celestian speakers have a much larger magnet than these. But they're still rated for 65 watts a piece. So this 30 watt amp isn't even coming close to pushing these speakers as loud as they can go. Let's go ahead and hear how they sound. Right now our mic is the Sennheiser E906 paired with an Audio-Technica 4033 SE condenser room mic. And this whole setup sounds a bit like this. Nice cleans, let's hear what it sounds like in the neck. Pretty 
pretty nice clean. I hear a little something rattling around. There's just the slightest amount of fuzz that sounds to me like speaker fuzz. We'll have to compare it against the other two Celestian speakers that are in there and see what they sound like head to head. But there's a little bit of the neck sound. Really warm, really nice. I think this is a very high quality sound for the speaker. Let's go ahead and kick it into the bridge and we will activate the orange foot switch to get into the dirt channel. So pretty rocking. This is a really great sound. I think that these speakers, are, again, are not being pushed to their limit. We'll have to put a little more gain or a little more volume through them later on to see if we can really beat them. But for now, this is what they sound like. <laughs> dirty sound. Just for kicks, let's hear this Stratocaster in the neck position. A little warmer with the foot. That's a little flubby for my taste. Let's go back to the bridge and take some of that warmth or roundness out of the tone. Alright, so that's what these speakers sound like in kind of a normal context. I still have my earplugs in, of course, but I would say that our dB rating hasn't pushed above 100 so far. So let's go ahead and crank up the volume and see if we can peak these boys. <laughs> So we're really approaching the full 30 watt load on this amplifier here. I've got the dirty volume, well not quite, we've got the dirty volume up around 7 out of 10 and the gain is closer to 8 out of 10. That's pretty friggin high on this amp. This is not a slouch of an amp and it can really rip at lower volumes. But when paired with these high watt rating speakers, I think it's a really nice combination for a lower cost speaker. Just for kicks, let's hear some picking and see if we can get some good clean sounds out of here too. watch this channel regularly what video would be complete without a trip to the metal zone so let's go ahead and hear what that sounds like over these two speakers I'm thinking it might be a bit overkill with the strat but hey let's find out
So with the Metal Zone and the Stratocaster and the Marshall G12N65, not what you'd call a very common combination, but you just heard it here and I think it's pretty good. So my final take on these speakers is that there's a reason why these speakers are spec in cabinets around the world in numbers bigger than pretty much any other speaker. They're 65 watts a piece, so they have a really high rating, but they don't have that large of a magnet. They somehow get the kind of sound that you're looking for out of a Celestian speaker without the giant magnet that you associate with a green back or a G12 T75. The very last thing I want to do in this video is to compare these two speakers against that exact speaker, the G12 T75. So let's go ahead and make the swap and do one final shootout and see if we can hear a different difference between these two sets of speakers. All right, so just for comparison's sake, I've got both of these G12 T75 speakers hooked up and we have the same exact configuration as before. The only thing that has changed is the speaker. So here's what that sounds like. on the metal zone and here at the main event. to get the more expensive, heavier magnet speaker by Celestian. I'll have to let you decide. I personally love the variety of having all of them, but it's great to know that these less expensive speakers that you can find on Reverb for anywhere between, I don't know, 60 to between $75. If you need a great replacement speaker in a pinch, go ahead and pick one up. Or if you just want a different sound and you want to mix it up with a less expensive speaker, then go ahead and pick up that 12 and 65 variant. You can even find the Marshall branded ones very cheap as well. So feel free to like and subscribe if you like this content. Thanks for watching and hope to see you on the next one.